here in this video we will see the basic six operation that we can perform in this python first one is uh, in first part we will see how to import all the required python libraries in second part we'll see the or uh, we can say how to locate an open source data from the web we are locating this data set from kaggle.com in third part we will see about how to load the data set into pandas data frame in fourth part we'll see the data preprocessing in that we'll check for the missing values in data using in using the functions like describe function insert function and check the dimension of the data frame in fifth part we see the data normalization part and in sixth point we will see about the data standardization okay now i will start from the data importing first part is suppose you want to give comment in python in that case we have to give comment by hash okay importing the library now i want to give this as a heading in that case go to code click on heading then okay now run this code for running this code you can <coughs> use the shortcut key like shift enter okay now import numpy as np and import pandas as pd we are importing these two library only now i will run this code uh, shortcut key for executing this code is shift enter okay in second task we'll download the data set from the kaggle.com kaggle .com. okay for that Uh, we'll go to google.com then i will download the titanic data set on kaggle here see the first site which shows the www.kaggle.com and here titanic is there click on this data set now see the kaggle.com here on left hand side you will show the menu which shows the uh, options like home computation and data set choose the data sets and after choosing data set here type the titanic you can download any type of data set suppose you want to download the iris data set in that case you can type the iris and click on search here is this data set if you click on this your titanic data set is done uh, download i have already downloaded and i have stored that data set on d drive because i have given the path of the d drive see here when i have started with this when i have started the anaconda point in that case i have given the d drive location see here d colon that means i want to store all my files python files on d drive and then i have typed the jupyter notebook because of that i have stored this data set on d drive so that will be easy to read the data set from d drive okay this is the second step that uh, located open source data from the kaggle.com in third state uh, in third state we will see the load data set into pandas data frame in this we will see load data set okay now i will make this as a heading variable as a df is equals to pd dot pandas is a pandas library is required for reading this data set and here pandas is a uh, taken as a pd so i have written pd dot read underscore csv my file type is csv that's why i have taken this csv and inside bracket you have to write down your 
your csv file so my csv file name is train.csv so i will write train.csv this is i have written the uh, code for reading the this train data set now for displaying this content i will write the df shift enter now see this is my data set is open which is titanic data set the name of this titanic data set is train.csv now see here it shown that it contains total 891 rows and 12 columns in this data set now our next task is data preprocess before moving it was data preprocess i will tell you the two basic functions which are required uh, that is head and tail function suppose i will write the the actor head that it displays the top five entries from the given data set suppose i want bottom five entries from the given data set in that case i have to write the app dot tell head and tell these two function are useful for writing top five da uh, data set and uh, bottom five data set suppose you want only top three data set from the given data set in that case you have to write df dot head <coughs> inside a bracket write three by default it take five if you want any specific amount uh, number of entries in that case you have to mention that number inside a bracket okay <coughs> sorry next is data preprocessing i will write this into the next Processing it check for the missing values in data using pandas is null function describe function to get the sum initial statics provide the variable description the types of variable checks the dimensions of the data now first we will use the describe function here our data set name is df so df dot describe this is the one function if i will execute this function then it describe the data set uh, in this it will display the count mean day standard <coughs> minimum values and maximum values that means it gives the all description of the given data set second is what now next is i will tell you the steps for working with missing data first step is you have to identify the missing data and in second step after identifying missing data you have to deal with missing data and in third you have to correct the missing data format for identifying missing values you have to know the function that is assignment. you can use two functions first one is is null function and second one is not null function these two by using these two function you can identify in the you can identify the missing data here my data set name is df so df dot is null dot sum if you write this function and execute this then it will display the all missing values from the given data set just a minute 